What's going on Minties? This is Omar from Near Mint Condition and today I'm going to be doing something that I have wanted to do for many many years and that is open up this deluxe hardcover edition of Berserk. So please join me. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is thank the kind folks at Dark Horse for sending me this advanced review copy. Uh, this is very exciting. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. So let's make sure to cut away. that and let's see so back here we have the contents of the book which states that it collects the first three volumes which we have right here so we'll do a little comparison too before we crack this open let's do a little size comparison between this and other books so you can tell right off the bat it is bigger than your average manga of course that goes without saying it's taller not quite as tall as a marvel omnibus but almost just as wide. Looks to be about the size of those BPRD hardcovers that Dark Horse released. BPRD being just a little bit taller and also comes with a dust jacket, Berserk does not. Here it is compared to a Marvel Epic and a DC trade paperback. Of course, Berserk is almost 700 pages. And if you were wondering, yes, this does read like the traditional manga from right to left. Okay, here it is next to the recently, well, not recently, but a couple years ago, released Kadansha Battle Angel Alita Deluxe hardcover. Obviously, it's thicker, but it looks to be about the same height. And a little bit, just a tad bit longer. So, that. Actually, that's going to look really nice on a shelf. Okay, so let's look at the book itself. I love that they kept the parental advisory sticker, which is, of course, what they've been doing since day one, because you need it. Um, as you can tell, it's all black, this leather-looking style to the book, which is what the, actually, the Marvel omnibuses used to look like this inside of the dust jacket. You have the sticker here in the back that you can peel off to just give it that black look. I love that they have the brand of the sacrifice embedded into the cover. I like the glossy look to the words and how they're all embedded on the cover here. And the spine itself has that glossy look. By the way, this book will be available on February 20th at In Stock Trades and places like that. And then a couple weeks later, like at Amazon. Now let's look and see how this lays over. And there's that eye we want to see. You can tell the book lays flat and it's easy to read that way. That is very nice. All right, man. This takes me back because Berserk Volume 1 was the very first manga I reviewed for a magazine, so this means a lot to me. This this brings back a lot of memories. The contents, telling you what page each book is at, and of course the table of contents. The gratuitous opening demon sex scene, because this is Berserk. It's not for the weak of heart. It is my favorite manga of all time. And... Okay, right off the bat, uh, I can tell that the difference is right now is that the sounds are translated at the bottom of each panel, which good. That's good, because I know for the first couple of volumes, the MP didn't bother translating the sound effects. That always bothered me. So as you can tell, the sounds from the original manga were left untranslated, and there you have it in the new deluxe edition. They have been translated. Uh, let's look a little bit more through here. I've always wanted to see Miura's artwork in oversized format. Um, ever since I went to Europe and I got jealous of the European releases of Berserk and hardcover editions over there. Because his art, while this first volume doesn't do it justice, later on it becomes so detailed and wonderful that you just want to keep looking at every amount of detail in the background. In it. Let's flip a little more through here. Um, it looks like we have a ribbon. Let's check that out. Black ribbon, of course. Black swordsman. Makes sense. So I know even in the original manga, some of the words were cut off because the panels just didn't go too long. I don't know what it was about it, but it always felt like the word bubbles sometimes would get cut off because the trim of the manga size that we have just wasn't big enough. So I'm glad to see it here in full panel. Like, this is wonderful. This is the size of an American comic book. So to me, this is the way that Berserk deserves to be read. Uh, protagonist Guts. 
baddest badass of all time. More so than Wolverine. I know who's my favorite character, but Guts is just... Who else is going to fight all these demons? So this is more of an overview of the book, by the way. If you're looking for a review of the story, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to review it. It's what I used to do. I just don't review books that much anymore, unless I'm doing old reader, new readers. But I will tell you a quick synopsis of the story, and that is this medieval world filled with demons has this protagonist named Guts, who finds this little elf, and he is out there killing these things called apostles who happen to be demons, and he's looking for the God Hand, which are these five characters that show up, and he's looking for this guy named Griffith, and you don't know why he's looking for him. Not yet, anyway, but that's about to change. It's got sex, demons, badass protagonist, swords, violence. It's got everything you ever wanted in a manga and more, and here is the God Hand. Man, that looks so weird to see Femto like, or Griffith at the time, I think, what he was known as here, um, look like that, because his art style changed so much drastically throughout the series. That's pretty much the synopsis of it. That's all you need to know. Now, the big question for me is, did they keep the covers? Because I don't see the covers breaking up the chapters in here. So that's... Not a good thing for me because I love these covers. I mean, granted, these older covers are a little dated, but that's still badass. Let's see, maybe they put them in the back. They did. I am so glad they kept the covers. They're in the back here without any lettering or numbering. Little info on who Kentaro Miyura is and how you can get the individual volumes. If each one of these hardcovers collects three volumes, then that means we're gonna have at least 13, right? Because we're up to volume 40 right now. And I don't think volume 40 is out in America yet. That means it will probably take four years if they're releasing four every year. Just basic math, I don't know. But that also gives me a little bit of time to play catch up, because as we all know, this manga has been going on since 1989 and he loves to take breaks and sometimes really long breaks and that kind of sucks because according to him from what i read in an interview a couple years ago he's on his last arc now the question that i've asked myself and i'm sure a lot of you have asked if you have read this already and you own it should you upgrade you're damn right you should this is berserk and it deserves to be an oversized format while his artwork isn't the greatest at the very beginning because we're looking at early 90s late 80s stuff you know that his detailed art later on becomes just so mind-blowing that you need to have it in oversized format to do it justice uh, the pages are thick by the way they're not thin like the manga and yeah i know it's stupid for me to hold this up but yeah this this is, feels a lot thinner than these thick pages here these are nice and the art just pops out so much more so you absolutely need to upgrade if you are a huge fan of Berserk or a fan of Berserk. Anyway, that's my opinion. I was going to upgrade and I was going to gift my Berserk's um, graphic novels to a, a friend or family. Now, the next question. If you've never read Berserk, should you go ahead and get this edition of Berserk? It depends. If you're a manga reader, yes, you totally should. Because manga needs to be in this format from time to time. And art like this needs to be in this format. And you're already used to this kind of manga storytelling where characters like Puck play this lighter comedic tone. Um, now, if you've never read manga, that's kind of a tougher answer because I would love to say yes. I would love to say hell yes because I'm the biggest Berserk fan. And I know where the story is going. But I don't think the first volume will hook people because it's a little slow at first and you get this character like puck who unfortunately to me the comedy in berserk has always felt flat it, i always felt like it didn't belong in the book and i feel like miura almost felt like that too when he introduced us to the golden age arc so yes the first three stories here take place in the present and then we get this flashback story and this flashback story of his younger days, of Gut's younger days, will last approximately 10 more volumes, or the equivalent of three more volumes of these hardcovers. So that's a hell of a flashback, but it's also one of the most greatest 
and amazing stories in not just manga, in the comic medium. It is worth it. So hang in there if you get this first volume because it gets so much damn better. And I know I said I wasn't going to do a review, but I have to throw my two cents in there and say that this is the greatest manga story to me. And there's a reason for that. But I don't think volume one will show you how amazing it is. It's not until you get to volume two that you will be hooked and want to read more. And if you get the hardcover, you're going to say, screw it, I want to keep reading. So I'm going to go ahead and get the normal size manga books and wait for the hardcovers later on. That's how much it will hook you. I guarantee it. Just some little quick comparison in the artwork and how much bigger and better it looks. And what I was talking about that it pops out some more on these pages. Since the hardcover lays down flat, pages like this look a lot better because these just kind of fold back and there's some gutter loss right there. And that always sucks because I like to look at the entire artwork. One thing I didn't go over was the price. The price is $49.99. Now that is for three volumes in this nice oversized hardcover format. Each one of these volumes is $14 to $17, depending on what number you get. So to me, this is worth it, especially when you got places like In Stock Trades. And I know Amazon has pre-orders already up and going for a discounted price. Now, the biggest question that I've seen a lot so far is, will it sell out? Because we know that Dark Horse doesn't print as many copies as, say, Marvel or DC books. But this is their best-selling manga. It is also In Stock Trades' best-selling manga. So you figure they may print enough copies of this. But they also have to gamble on the fact that people want to upgrade every single one of their copies. So I don't know how many they're going to print. We know the whole ordeal with Conan, but that's its own beast. But then you had things like Harrow County that sold out within the first week, and then they went back and reprinted. You had the whole ordeal with BPRD Hell on Earth that sold out. And we're still waiting on a second printing of uh, Volume 3, I believe. It's almost like you're taking a gamble with these books. It's like, should you wait? Or should you get it day of, right? I hate to start rumors and saying, no, you gotta get it the first day because it's going to sell out. But then again, I was kind of right with the, some of those Conan books and of course, some of those library edition books that came out. They did end up selling out. And this is one of those books people have been wanting in this format for many years. So what you could do is pre-order it through Amazon. And then if you see it sell out at Tales of Wonder, in stock trades or cheap graphic novels or at comic book stores, then keep your pre-order because Amazon always gets it about two weeks later. Anyway, that's here in the US. That's my suggestion. The book is almost 700 pages long, so is it worth the $50? Hell yes, especially if you can get it at a discounted price. And that is the overview of the first Berserk Deluxe Edition hardcover. If I left anything out, please let me know in the comments down below. I think in this overview, I have stressed enough how much this manga means to me. So thank you very much again for watching. This was Omar. Don't forget that our panel show comes back at the end of the month. And if you want to see more overviews of manga and hardcovers, please let me know in the comments down below. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint. <laughs>